Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Actually, I was going to talk about a different topic uh, about politics. It's morning, so I said, uh, let us talk about politics. You know? uh, but I saw some comments and you know the Muslims are insisting to insult Jesus. They love it. You know, they claim that they are people who love Jesus. You know? Uh, so I, I will show you and they even they don't even like they use even Christian names when they post things. This is a comment by a Muslim who called himself John. He hid the name Muhammad, so he called himself John. So he quoted a, a poetry made by a Muslim uh, cleric to insult Jesus. And notice, Muslims, you brought this to yourself. It's not me. So when you Muslim you claim that you respect Jesus, that's absolutely a lie. When a Muslim woman she said Jesus he play with his mother breast, and then you defend her and you say she is the, she is the good person and we are the bad people. Obviously you don't respect Jesus. When Muhammad he say he is going to have sex with the mother of Jesus, that Allah he married Mary to Muhammad. Obviously. You disrespect Jesus. If I say to the Muslim now, I'm going to sleep with the mother of Muhammad, they will say this is an insult. You cannot say that. It's not right. For sure, they will kill you too. Or I want to sleep with the Aisha. Allah, he married me to Aisha. They will kill you too. So, you know, the Muslim, they have double standard of respect. So let us see this poetry and let us see how this poetry proved that Jesus is God and Muhammad is a mule. So you are insulting Jesus. I have to insult Muhammad. Read carefully how they insult him. O worshipper of a Christ, we would like uh, your ma most wise to answer the, our question. This is the translation for the Arabic. It's right. So he's asking if the God he was murdered by some people action so then what sort of God he is, is this? You stupid idiot. So if Jesus was killed, he is not God. If Jesus is not killed, he is God. That means he is God in Islam. Do you see how silly those people are? Because your logic saying that if he is God, how they can kill him? Well, first of all, <laughs> you see, the stupidity is amazing. Christian they say that the people they killed the flesh of Jesus but God nobody can kill him Jesus is alive isn't it the Bible say that Jesus resurrected from when we say Jesus we mean what we mean the spirit and the flesh but Jesus exists before the flesh Jesus said before Abraham I am so his existence of his flesh have nothing to do with the existence of Jesus and when Jesus in John, he says, I am from above, you are from below. I am not from this world, you are of this world. He said it clearly, who is he? So when you make a claim saying, well, if God get killed, uh, what kind of God he can get killed by a few people? Here we go, what kind of Allah? He is God and I, I, I fought at him. I will go with you. Which one is easier to say I fought at Allah or you kill someone his name is Allah? Where is your Allah? You will say to me Allah will punish me in the judgment day, correct? Okay. Well, Jesus in the cross, he said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. He's not seeking revenge. And Jesus came back to life and thousands of people, they witness him. Not like Muhammad who never, you know, all Muhammad's stories, nobody saw. Muhammad, he went in the top of a mule. Muhammad, he went to the heaven. Muhammad, he had, even his sex is false. It was an illusion. So if I go with you, if Jesus is God should not be killed, that's mean Jesus is God in Islam. Any Muslim disagree? If the proof that Jesus cannot be God, that some people, what kind of God does God, he people can kill him? Well, why not? Why not? Hold on. 
if God, he said, okay, you can shoot at me and I will show you how I can come back to life. We don't believe that I am God, right? Okay, you can destroy this temple. This is what Jesus said to them. You can destroy this temple and I will build it in three days. And why he said three days? In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So if Jesus cannot be God for he being killed, then Jesus must be God in Islam then, because how come nobody can kill Jesus? Look, the, the, the Jews, they killed Muhammad. Like a rat. You see, you are being aggressive, insulting Jesus, because later the, the, the poet is using very filthy language with, with Jesus. Well, I will give your prophet what he deserves. This is your prophet declaring how he died. The prophet in his element of death, which he died. Who is talking Aisha, not Christian prince? He used to say, he used what? He used to say, not only once, not only twice, not only three times. He used to say, O oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, I feel as if my orta is being cut from that poison question what kind of a prophet of god his name is isa nobody can kill him yet he is not god and what kind of a prophet of god his name is muhammad and he is the greatest yet a little tiny poison like a rat killed him any muslim as long allah he saved his prophet which one? According to Muslims, he saved Jesus. Okay. Which one he died by the Jews, by the hand of the Jews, the same people? His name is Muhammad. That's wonderful. So how come Muhammad was killed by the Jews and Allah did not clone him? Don't you Muslims believe in the, in the cloning story? Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. Can't Allah clone a stomach for Muhammad? Don't clone the whole Muhammad, clone his stomach. So Islam is a very stupid, aggressive religion. They are willing to insult Jesus, saying what kind of God he died in the cross, and later he say very bad language. We will go there, just wait. But as you see, Muhammad, he was killed by the Jews. What kind of Allah? He saved Jesus, he don't save Muhammad. Why he saved Jesus? Because he is high and Muhammad is a donkey, he's not worth it. Give me the reason. Any Muslim can tell me why? And the funny, Muhammad, he said to the Jewish women, Allah will not allow you to do so. And later he, he died by the poison. He's a false prophet. He said, Allah will, Allah will not able you to do so. To do what? To kill him. After he ate the poison. And after he ate the poison, they made a cut in his throat and, to, and, and they start sucking the blood out of his throat. Yet, he died. And yet, Muhammad saying, this is how I die. And now what the Muslim, they will say to me, they will say to me, it doesn't say that, CP, and this hadith is weak. Well, this is al-Bukhari. It's still, it's weak, okay? But the one who taught the hadith is Aisha. Aisha is weak, okay? Okay, but the prophet here was dying from poison. Yes, exactly, because he was weak, okay? The prophet is weak. Allah is weak. But Allah is strong when they want to kill Jesus, but Allah is weak when they want to kill Muhammad. Uh, uh, Thomas, uh, we don't like stupid talk here. Get out of here. Who cares about the color of Jesus? Jesus was brown. 
what uh, how is that brown you know it's just stupidity is amazing the jewish are, are are black people now stupidity is amazing and we we don't care if jesus was black or asian still he is jesus for God, he loved the whole world. He sent his only begotten son. He did not send them just because of uh, white people or black people or silly people, you know, silly, silly kids, kids, you know, don't, trash. This is trash talk. Little kids sitting with their, with, their, with their little short in the, in the, in the side of the road and trying to like, Jesus was brown. Who care about Jesus color? Only racist, they think about the color of somebody. Only, only racist. We don't care what the color of Jesus. You see, the one, the Muslim, they have books speaking about how white Muhammad is, how white his underarm, how white his belly bum, how white his face. And there is a hadith that says the one who says the prophet is black, kill him. For Islam is a white supremacist cult. People who do are, people who they are not racist, they would not think about color unless you are describing a person for me. Like okay, I saw somebody, etc. You say you can say he's black, okay. But we are talking about somebody we follow, we worship, or you are following somebody as a prophet. Why you are describing how beautiful he is as a white man? The black dog is is the devil, uh, you know, it's etc. So. Let us continue here. If we go back to the poetry, so now we from your from your poetry, which is a stupid, you prove to us that Jesus must be God. Because if they cannot kill Jesus, he must be God. If they can kill him, he is not God according to your poet, which is a stupid poet. So you refuted yourself, and now you die in shame with your stupidity. And then uh and we wonder, was he pleased by what they did to him? So, uh, 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 if so, then pleased are they. Let us expand so we can show the rest. For they must have achieved their pleasure. You see, the stupidity here is amazing. Okay, I want to ask you the same question. Was Muhammad pleased when the Arab in at if they did beat him? Was he pleased? Was Allah pleased? Or this is just to insult and be stupid. Muhammad went to at Taif and they did beat him. We will go there. And then he said, But if he wasn't pleased with them, then this is must mean they overpowered him. Mm -hmm. Guys, Allah is not pleased with me. I must be overpower him then. <laughs> <laughs> is Allah pleased with me now? Is Allah pleased with me now? Guys, don't change my topic. Why? What's wrong with people? Why we are talking about a topic? People they start posting here and there different questions. What's wrong with people? And are you are you a bunch of children? Can you read for us this verse? Can you answer about this verse? Can you focus? Focus. Don't be like Muhammad. Muhammad is suffering from flight of thought. Do we have adult or a bunch of kids? Don't be like Muhammadan. Give him time out. Just to learn. When we have a topic, don't ask questions that have nothing to do with the topic. After we finish and we say who have a question, then you can give me a question. If you don't like what we say and what we how we do it, leave. Nobody's asking you to stay. It's a free form. So, is Allah pleased with the Christian prince making this video right now? The answer, no. <laughs> I will use your poetry. Then, what kind of God I overpower him? He's not pleased with me. What Allah can do with it? And then he says, so was the present entity, entity left without a God? You know, I like it when you say a God, 
because you Muslims, obviously, you believe in many gods. You see the stupidity here. They say, okay, if Jesus died, then who was God? That because you are an ignorant following a, follow, a, 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 a false prophet, his name is Muhammad. Don't you Muslim, you know that we Christians, we believe in the Trinity? Uh, no, no, we don't. Uh, Muhammad, he, th he think the Trinity is Mary and Allah. <laughs> I mean, you have a fool prophet at the point you do not know what the Trinity is. And not only that, in one verse in the Quran, Muhammad says, those who believe that the Messiah is Allah are kuffar. Okay, hold on. If the, if the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah, so what is the Trinity? What happened to the Trinity? You see the stupidity? If we go, <laughs> the chapter five, verse number 17. Surely in this belief are are they who say that Allah is the Messiah? Okay, hold on, I will stop here. So if the Christian, they say the Messiah is Allah. So how you Muslim, you say we have three gods lying to each other? And where is the Trinity? Any Muslim can tell me? Okay, uh, Messiah, the Christian, they say the Messiah is Allah. All right, so who is the second person and who is the third person? Any Muslim in the bushes? Do we have any Muslim in the bushes? This is a pure stupid religion. There's no logic, a bunch of stupidity. This guy, Muhammad, he do not know Qatham ibn Abdullah. He do not know what he's talking about. He is suffering from flight of thought. Once he said the Christian, they believe in the Trinity, and he said that Mary and, you know, did you, Allah said to Jesus, did you say to your people to worship me and my mother? With the Christian, they, they, the Christian, they believe that we should worship his mother and she is a Trinity? Abdul, he might say to you, the Catholic, they do, that's a lie. The Catholic believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Don't lie. No Christian believe that Mary is part of the Trinity. We believe that Mary was a wonderful, a great woman chosen by God, yes. But she is a woman. So if Allah in the Quran says, the Christian, they say the Messiah is Allah. So who is the second person in the Trinity and who is the third person? Any Muslim can give me a guess? Any Muslim can give me a guess. The verse in the front of you, I'm not the one saying that. It says that the Christian, they say that the Messiah is Allah. Okay, we got it. So who is the second person in this trinity and who is the third person? Any Muhammadan? All, all what you are so good about is just to post text and make a threat and call me names and etc. But we are here. We say who wanna who wanna uh, who wanna refute us? Nobody. Look at them. I mean, we have one thousand people watching. Not a single Muslim have an idea what to say. I mean, okay, the, the Christian they say the Messiah is Allah. So who is the second person? No problem, uh, Muslim empire. What, what empire? Ex empire. He himself is living under the Queen of England. He pay legend, all of them, those potatoes who live in England, they pay legend to the Queen who carry a crown and have a cross in the top of it. And he call himself Muslim empire. You're right. Where we can find this empire? The American army have almost a base in every Islamic country, and the Muslim they pay for it. Empire starting from Turkey. What kind of empire? You need a foreign army, which is a Christian army, to protect you. Obviously, it's a great empire. So who's going to answer?
don't use bad language please otherwise you know if you use bad language first of all youtube will hold your text will block you so you are wasting your time and you are posting nothing then don't use bad language my friend otherwise i have to block you any muslim jesus is allah the quran says that the christian they say jesus is allah who is the second person in trinity and who is the third person nobody No one? Nobody know? There's a famous uh, uh, Quranic verse that's called Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, ta -da -da, nobody. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know. Allah knows best. This is the religion of Allah knows best. Nobody knows. What Muhammad saying, nobody knows. What Muhammad saying, nobody care. What Muhammad saying, nobody can explain. Because nobody knows. Nobody. Anyone? Quran 4 171 will answer okay let me uh, let me go back and see where uh, Muslim Empire he said that because I like to take a screenshot to make selfie of him smile uh, where is Muslim Empire I know I don't find his text can you post it again as uh, uh, Muslim Empire the same what you said what they are saying to me 4 171 so I can put your name in the screen and people they can enjoy seeing your uh, your majesty are you sure you want me to show 4171 are you sure muslim empire okay let's go to four you see this is you see how nice we are we go by the request of the muhammad and muhammad and they say go and see 4 4 uh, 171 let us go there in two seconds he will regret he will say sorry i i, I got the wrong verse just wait 4171 Remember, it is you who choose it, so don't spit on it. All right, let us go down. I don't know. I, I, I will make you blind by this scrolling down. Hold on, sorry. There's no option here to go right away to the verse. Okay. Look how long this translation. Let us let us make, uh, choose a shorter translation. This translation is like a newspaper. I mean, the whole verse, unbelievable. This is how disabled the translator is. All right. O oh, people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say of Allah out but the truth. Christ Jesus is the son, the son of Mary, between two brackets, no more than, which means it's not in the Quran. Between two brackets, even, even the translator, he is watching it between two brackets. A messenger of Allah and his word, mm -hmm, which he bestowed on Mary, uh -huh, and his spirit proceeded from him, like what? <laughs> but that makes Jesus a three and one in the same time. Guys, look at this. The funny hypocrite Muhammad copying John chapter 1, verse number 1 and verse number 14. In the beginning it was what? It was the word. The word of what? What word? The word of God. And the word, who is the word? Is the God. He is the word. God and his word is one.
That's wonderful. So what is Jesus? Is the word of God. If we ask Muslim empire, is the word of Allah created? They will say no. So Jesus is the word of God. He is not created. All Muslims agree that the word of Allah is not created. And not only that, it's eternal. And not only that, not created specifically by Allah. So Jesus' existence have nothing to do with the creation, according to Islam. In the same time, he sent down to Mary. So where Jesus was? He was above. This is why in John, Jesus said, I am from above, you are from below. So the Quran confirmed that Jesus was the word of God and he is the word of God who sent down to Mary. So what Mary she received? She received the word of God. She did not receive a sperm. Do you see it, Muslims? What Mary she received according to the Quran? She received the word of God. You know, you guys, you say to me, Muslim Empire saying, I don't see Muslim Empire. And what, Muslim Empire, you want to call me open sky for you? Why? I don't see his text. Where is his text? I don't see his text. I'm not sure I don't see him. Uh, we will go to chapter 3, verse 59, and even we will die laughing. Because here we go. Uh, if Muslim Empire, who have no empire left, peace be upon him, he think... You see, look, look, look what happened. In a second, he changed the verse. I told you he will be sorry. Isn't it him who said to us, show us chapter 3, chapter 4, verse 171? And now we are talking about 4, 171. He don't want it no more. He wants us to jump to 359. Selfie. So Jesus is the word of God, sent down to Mary, and he is a spirit proceeding from God. Read your Quran. Preceding I in G. So we don't believe in such a trinity, by the way. But you just said that you can be one person, yet you are three in the same time. You are word. You are a man. And you are a spirit. This is what this verse is saying. The same verse saying, say no trinity. Look how stupid this stupidity is. It's like saying to somebody, don't say Trinity, say three. <laughs> I mean, how the verse saying, say no Trinity, and then you are saying to us that Jesus is a three, but he is one. Isn't Zachary Nike he say, they ask him why you should not allow to teach Christianity in the in the schools. He said, first of all, Christian, they have wrong, the wrong mathematics. Are you going to teeth and allow people to teeth you? That one plus one plus one is equal to one? That cannot be approved. What an idiot. Well, the Quran saying, Jesus is the word. He is a man. And he is a spirit proceeding from him. Three, one plus one plus one is equal to one. And by the way, we Christian, we don't believe one plus one plus one. Where do you get this from? Where the, where the word plus is coming from? Stupidity is amazing. Stupidity is amazing. The sun is a star. But the star have light and have heat. Is the sun three suns? <laughs> or still we have one sun? <laughs> You know, when they say the Chinese, I like the Chinese, by the way. I used to read a lot of things about the Chinese. I, I, they have a lot of wisdom. So, they, one, but one of the most beloved statements I learned from the Chinese is this following sentence. He left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. He left as a donkey. He never came back as a horse. And that is the situation of a Prophet Muhammad. Now he said, 
uh, the empire. I, I don't know why I don't see some people text. I don't see empire. Why I do not block him? Uh, hold on. He said, uh, show us chapter 3, verse number 59, he said. Right? Okay. In a second, he will be sorry. Let us go to chapter 3, verse number 59. Get your get your tissue ready. Remember, you are the one who asked for it, not me. Do you, do you know, do you understand why they don't dare to call me? Because it doesn't matter what they say, they will be humiliated with their lies and their, 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 their false answers. This one, you see, if I am a person who have blue eyes, uh, I'm thinking to make them blue now, uh, and I am an American born or British born, a person who say, hey, mate, how are you, mate? All Muslims will debate me. They will be lined up. But because I am an Arab, and because I have knowledge, can whip the floor of Allah with it, they don't dare to call me. It says here that the similarity of Jesus to Allah before Allah is the same of Adam. He created him from dust, and then he said to him, Be, and he was. Challenge to the Muslims, where is the verse speaking about Allah creating Adam by saying to him, Be? <laughs> Stupid Muhammad. Is it Muhammad he said that Allah he fashioned Adam? And then after he fashioned him, he breathed into him. And then after he breathed into, in, into him, that, you know, first, first of all, by the way, he made mud. He 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 mixed water with the sand. Then he fashioned a clay, and he used the word the clay. You know, a clay which the one you make uh, sol sol is just not not just a clay. The one you make like uh, you know the old uh, the dishes. You know the, the the red thing or the bricks. So he made such a clay, and then he made. Adam and that will make in Adam a red Indian, you know, because if you made him from clay, the red color, that would make him red Indian. So he's an American, Native American, maybe. So this they call him in Arabic, you know, the red Indian. I don't know in English what they call it. Uh, so Allah He made Adam from a clay, and then He breathed into him, and then after He breathed into him, still Adam was not finished. This is why if we go to the Quran. Watch with me what will happen to Muhammad now. Read carefully. Chapter 15, verse number 29. It says, When I have fashioned him, and then I breathe into him my spirit. Where is B and he was? Fashion, breathing, Adam was in the process. He's not even done. How we knew that Adam was not even done there? If you go to the Quran where it says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ وَعَجُولَ Human was hasty. Okay, why it says that وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ وَعَجُولَ Chapter 17, verse number 11. The reason for that, when Allah, He breathed into Adam, and the spirit started going down from the head of Adam downward, Adam, he tried to stood up, to stand up, and he could not. So he said to Allah, finish me before the sunset. Maybe Christian Prince is lying. Let us go to the interpretation. Give me a second. <laughs> See, until now he's not finished. Adam is saying to Allah, finish me, finish me, man. Come on, man. Finish me before the sun set, man. And Adam like, what? Oh, sorry. This is a Shia video. Uh, fi like, oh, finish me, man. Like, what? what? Like, can you come and finish me, man. Can you finish me, man? Uh, 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 finish me. So, if Allah, he say, Jesus is the same as Adam. He created him by saying to him, be and he was. So why Adam, even after he breathed, he is saying to Allah, finish me man. Let us go to the interpretation so the Muhammadan, they will not say 
the Christian prince is making things up because you know them. They will say it doesn't say that CP. All right. I will put it for you on screen. Give me a second. Don't worry. I know the screen is off. <clears throat> You see, we're trying to make different timing so people from different countries can join us. Uh, but I might take a few days. You know, I have a friend who is inviting me to go to somewhere where it's warm, you know, like to stay there for some time. But I would take my computer with me. Uh, I might go. If I go, I like I, I, I might be away for just a few days driving. It's far distant. Uh, but anyway, I did not decide yet to go or not. Uh, let us read together. This is Ibn Kathir. This is who? Ibn Kathir, not Christian Prince. Who? Ibn Kathir. Who is Ibn Kathir? Who's Ibn Kathir? Christian Prince, I challenge you to show me the difference. I make my own translation. But those Muslim website <laughs> read carefully this is a Muslim website this is my translation now and this is Ibn Kathir this is my translation all right it says here and man is ever hasty Salman al-Farisi and Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas is the first scholar of Islam. Sarmad al-Farisi is a fairy tale story teller. He used to tell Muhammad a lot of stories like the versions and Muhammad copied from him. Mentioned the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet. Like, oh, look at this idiot Adam. I mean, you idiot. Can't you wait until your, the, your soul, like, you know, the, pro, the internet is so slow. Very slow. Allah he breathed into Adam. Is Adam finished? No. Is he ready? No. So the verse where it says in chapter 359, similarity of Jesus like Adam, he said to him, be and he was, where it is. This is the opposite. As you see, even after he fashioned, and then next he breathed into him, still Adam is not done. Look what happened. I feel sorry for Adam at that time, by the way. Imagine you are Adam now, and he breathed into you, and you are looking around, you're wondering, like you want to get up, you want to see what's happening, and you cannot. Look at this. So, and uh, when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, look at the knowledge man. Look at those stories. I mean, who knows such a story about Adam save a prophet like Muhammad. I mean, look, this is the first man exist. If the Muslim, they want to say to me that Muhammad, he heard this story from somebody, this is the first man. If Allah said that to him, show me the verse. If Allah did not say that in the Quran, where he said it to him, do you Muslim have different book? Oh, we have the Hadith. Ah, I forgot you have a Hadith Qudsi claiming to be from Allah. <laughs> That's funny. Let us continue the story. So before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from his head downward. When it reached his brain, he sneezed, Hachu, Hachu. And he said, Alhamdulillah, look, Adam, he speak Arabic. This guy he is born speak Arabic when Arabic when there is no other language Arabic does not exist. Adam, the first thing he did after he sneezed, you have to notice the first thing you do you sneeze it's true, because Allah he loved those who sneeze. This is what the Hadith says. Do you remember? Allah love those who sneeze and hate those who yawn. You know, when you when you tell stories about Muhammad, people will think that you are making up like crazy stuff. I mean, this is like what? Are you are you serious that Allah he liked those who sneeze, he loved those sneeze, and shit and 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 yawning is from shaitan? Yes. Read carefully. Sahih al Bukhari. Peace be upon him. Allah pray for him, not on him, not to him. Sayyid Allah 
loves the Prophet of Allah said, Allah loves sneezing, but he dislike yawning. If you come to my office, you will find a big sign in my office says, sneeze only, yawning free zoom. Why? Because I am Allah, worship me. And I love sneezing. And for some reason, I don't know, no, I don't know why. Don't ask me, please. Don't ask me. The second you sneeze, I love it. I love it. I feel like ticklish. Sneeze again. I love it. I love it. Sneeze again, please. Unbelievable. I'm so happy. What a nice morning. Everybody around me have corona. And have a flu. So sneezing from Allah and yawning from shaitan. Huh? And shaitan he jump inside your open when you when you yawn and he laugh at you. Wisdom. This is this is exactly what wiz and dumb they make together. So if we go back here to the story about Adam was created by being B, same as Jesus, you will find here it says. So and uh, so, uh, okay, Adam, he sneezed, and he said, Alhamdulillah, please be to Allah. Alhamdulillah, I mean, thanks to Allah. And Allah said, may your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. Look, may, I mean, what's wrong with this God? He's stuck with the word may, and who is his Lord? You see, I am the Lord, and I say to you, May your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. But I am the Lord. If you are Mr. Wisdom and you are the Lord, why you are saying me? Are you are you sure? I'm not sure. Maybe he will. I mean, have mercy on you. Why? What he did? He just sneeze, and you love sneezing. Why Allah saying may Allah have mercy on you? He just sneezed. He did not commit sin. And Allah, he loves sneezing anyway. Allah, he should be ticklish now. She's like, hey, Adam, do it again. I love it. You know what? From now on, I want you to sneeze three times a day, five times a day. Okay, Adam? And then Adam, he says, okay, Allah. So what do you mean? Allah, he said to him, may your Lord. Aren't you the Lord? And what do you mean may? Is that a request from different God? If I say to somebody, may the Lord forgive you, that's mean I am not the Lord and I am praying to the Lord. Do we agree, people? Do we agree? If I say, may your Lord have mercy on you. Obviously, I am not the Lord because it's not me who have the mercy for I am wishing mercy on you from someone who I call him Lord. The story continued, the drama. It says here, <clears throat> when it reached his eyes, he opened them, bling, 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 like the barbie, you know, like bling, bling, bling. And when it reached his body and limbs, he started to stare at them in wonder. Do you know the cartoon, the guy like ah Ahmed, the dead terrorist? Do you know, do you know the cartoon, Ahmad the Dead Terrorist? This is Ahmad the Dead Terrorist. Uh, Abel saying, just a question, could it be that he is speaking in third person like Jesus did when Jesus said, don't test your Lord? No. No, he is saying to him, he the Satan is testing who is testing Jesus, right? And who is the one is speaking? Jesus. So he's saying to him, Don't test your Lord, I am your Lord. He's not speaking about different Lord, and he is using a quotation of the Old Testament too. So don't go there. So look at this here. So when his uh, uh, when when it reached his eyes, he opened them. When it reached his body and limbs, he started to stare at them in wonder. He wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but 
he could not he said oh lord make it happen before the night comes actually the arabic it says before the sunset i'm not going to ask muhammad here how he came with this crazy story the guy he is just he, he just came out of the egg how he knew that the sun is going to set soon You know, like my mom, she told me when I was a kid, I was so, so, so smart. Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. To the point I knew that the sun is going to set soon. So I told the, the lady who was delivering me from my mother, finish, get me out before the sun set. And my mom, like she was like, how, how he knew? How my baby son, he knew that the sun, that the sun is going to set soon. He's not even born yet. Like my mom like was like, what? And the women, you know, uh, the women she was delivering me, uh, you know, helping my mom, uh, like she was like, she stopped, you know, she, she said, I cannot continue. This is too much. I mean, how this kid, he knew that the sun set soon. They were like, unbelievable. Impossible. And this is a true story, by the way. You know, I swear by Allah, this is a true story. I mean, let me put my hand in the Quran. So here you will see that when they say to you, Jesus is the same as Adam, created by saying to him, be and he was, that is a joke. Because neither Adam was created by saying be. And Jesus in the Quran is the same. We just showed you the verse that Jesus is the word sent down to Mary. And then he breathed into the vagina of Mary. Look how filthy this cult. Did Allah say to Jesus be and was? Or there was a stages and never said be? Let us see. Guys, do you like this timing? You know, I decided to do it today early. Uh, like, so we can get people from different countries, like especially in Asia and Europe. Uh, Look at this Quran here. <clears throat> so Mary, the women who guarded her vagina, look how filthy this language. You know, uh, a Muslim, he says, uh, the, the language of a Christian prince is... Uh, like is, uh, I don't know the word, uh, vulgar. I don't know what, the, like vulgar, I don't know the, how to say the word. Excuse my English, my good English. So, <laughs> I mean, look who is talking. I'm reading your Quran. This is why my language is not good. I mean, what is in the Quran except vagina and penis and uh, big boobs and uh, boys? And this, this is your Quran. And Mary, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity. You see the lie? Chastity? Where is the word vagina? And how she guarded her, her vagina? You, Muslims, how she guarded her vagina? What does that mean? Chastity. In Arabic, it's here, farjaha. Farjaha. If we use the same word, let us go. Let's go back. The same word. Okay, what for Ruj? Let us see what it means. Chapter 70, verse number 29. Huh? Chastity. Again, chastity. I think this guy, Yusuf Ali, he stuck with that word, chastity. Let us see different uh, translation. Is the word chastity will be there too? Look what happened, subhanallah, subhanallah. The word trustity became a private part. <laughs> subhanallah, subhanallah. It's a miracle. We have a new Quran. Suddenly, the word chastity, i.e., private parts. So it's not a chastity. They preserve their private parts. Okay, so going back to Mary's story. Huh? So Mary, she guarded her private part, her vagina, excuse my language. 
And then we breathe, look, 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 look at the Muslim, they try to solve the problem. We breathe, we breathe into slaves, sleeves. Her vagina is her sleeves. Look, women at that time, they used to have different location for the vagina. If, 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 if. And look, we breathe into her sleeves, and then he says her shirt or garment. <laughs> Unbelievable. The vag he breathed into it. Fiha. In different verse, it says fee. Let us see what they, what they would do with fee. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Ah, uh, stupidity, I mean, deception. So let us go and, and find this. <laughs> okay. Chapter 66, verse number 12. What they will say now, let us see. And Maryam, the daughter of Amran, by the way, Abdul, Maryam is not the daughter of Amran. Your prophet, he, he don't even know how to quote anything right. I mean, your prophet, the, the, the worst Abdul ever in quotation, is like a Christian prince, he trying to read the book of Shakespeare. Or a Christian prince trying to read this word. Hold on, let me go back. Which word? This word. Compare between my English and Allah Arabic. The Valo Batoyos, the Valo Batato, Batato, Batantenos women. Yeah, it's a Valentine's Sony, like, you know. So the Valo, the volleyball, the, no, this is not volleyball, hold on. The Volo, the, the Volo Octopus, no, no, hold on. Volo bot boto or us. I, I think I got it correctly this time. Volo boto but 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 you or us. Perfect. Can Allah can speak such an English like mine? I mean, what this is. So. Maryam, the daughter of Amran, how she switched her dad? Hey, Mary, what you did? She found a new dad in the auction? I mean, even the name of the father of Mary, the Christian, they changed him? If, 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 if. And then we find that Amran is the same person, he is the father of Moses, and then the Quran says Mary is the sister of, of Aaron. <laughs> Guys, please don't, uh, thank you very much. I see many of you saying your English is so wonderful. I understand, I understand. I'm very humble, you know, I'm very humble. I don't wanna tell you how much is good my English. And you know, like I used to, they, they asked me to teach English, uh, English literature in the uh, uh, University of uh, uh, Banksford, you know? And I told them, you know, I'm busy, like, you know, like because I have my, like, uh, you know, uh, shower room program, you know? So like, you know, and uh, I soon I have a guest. He's a prophet, you know. His, his, his name, uh, Prophet Mr. Bean, you know. And, and so you know they, they understood and they said, okay, we we understand. You are very busy, and so it's like a true story. If you don't believe me, this is published in Sahih Muslim. So and Maryam, the daughter of Amran, who guarded her vagina, we breathe into her vagina, liars. What garment? So Allah to to create Jesus, He breathed into the garment. So Jesus, He went to the garment. Okay, so Allah now, he put his spirit in the sleeves of Mary. After nine months, Mary, her sleeves became big. And now she will deliver Jesus from her sleeves. <laughs> 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 
They don't want to admit that the first saying that Allah, he breathed into her vagina. So he breathed into her sleeves, brother. Look, what? Yes, and Jesus, he did not, he's not born of her, of her private part. He is born of her sleeves. Okay, Muslims, if Allah, he breathed into her sleeves, that means Jesus never entered the body of Mary. He was in her sleeves. Like in the circus, you know, like you 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 take something from your sleeves, those two who play of, of fake magic. What what is this? You see, the problem is that most of people who read didn't have, let us say, the ability to process the stupidity. You know, you need a processor. The process is slow. How do you accept such a statement? He breathed into her sleeves. Where is the word sleeves? And you see, uh, it says, Farjaha, fanafakhna fihi, farjaha, vajjana fi. We breathe into it. Where is the word sleeves? Ah. <sighs> No, you fool. Lost and found. Where is the Muslim empire? I, I see your text, but I don't see his text. Are you, are you the same person? I don't see. I mean, where is the guy? Muslim empire. <coughs> anyway, and then, and then, uh, look what he said. Look what he says. We blew into her garment through our ruh, i.e. Jibreel. Like, what? Allah, he created Jesus by Jibreel. <laughs> when you say through Jibreel, what does that mean? Hey, Muslims. If ruhana suddenly became Jibreel, first, the word Jibreel is not there. It says ruhana. The Muslim, they say, the word ruh means spirit. Uh -huh. Okay, but they say, Allah, he meant Jibreel. Okay, okay. But that means that the one who created Jesus is Jibreel. Any Muslim have an idea what is, what your God is missing things up and your translators and... Okay, let us take a commercial break. Today I will teach you how to read a very easy word in English. Uh, volo, volo, uh, volo up. Volo, you know, the, you, 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 you know, like you call a company. They say to you, follow up with us. Okay, this is very close. I will teach you how to say it easy. Volo up, and then, as if you are saying the word toes, like follow up toes. Okay, very easy. The end of the commercial, we know we have to teach you English from time to time, like, you know, come on, you know, for free, what we can do. I mean, like, you have to help the people. You have to, this is like charity teaching, you know? Yeah. So we go back to the topic. So Allah, he created Jesus from Jibreel. So Allah, he breathed Jibreel, and then he blew Jibreel. <laughs> because if the ruh is Jibreel, Allah he breathed from the ruh from the spirit so Allah breathed what? do we have any Muslim? who wants some coffee? anyway, anyway stupidity let us go back to the poetry so he's saying so did did the, the world became without God when Jesus died? Well, we answered you. First of all, God, our God is a spirit. Not like your God is a potato. He has no spirit. So they killed the flesh, but the spirit never died. God is always alive. So is Jesus. And in your cult, Jesus right now, he is in heaven. Your prophet is routing down in the ground even when he was not under the ground ibn abbas he said bury your friend he stink as all human they stink in the hadith it says and his belly became so big full of fart the fart in the prophet and the liar he says we prophet uh, 
the ground does not decay our our uh, consume our uh, body this is why they did not bury him for three days they thought he's the same as jesus he will come back to life this is what he told them he told them when you pray your prayer will be sent to me they said to him oh prophet of allah how you will receive our prayer and your but your body will be dead and you will be you will be decayed he said oh the earth forbid Allah he forbid the earth brother and sister we are prophet we are different kind of species hmm Anyone remember the story of uh, the prophet who died and he was standing in his stick and nobody noticed? What's his name? Anyone remind me? Yeah, we made many uh, videos about Muhammad uh, and his body uh, stink. But we can show reference, no problem. Uh, do you guys remember the story? about the prophet who he died standing and nobody noticed <laughs> that he's dead nobody And how people they notice that he is dead? Not because his body decay. No, no nobody notice. I mean, this guy is a king. His ministers, his wife, they go in, they go out. Nobody notice that the guy is dead. Why, brother? Because he was holding a stick when he died. True story. And then the termite brothers and sisters they ate his stick. This is why I will never buy a stick made of wood. Because if you do that, the termite will eat your body. This is one of the books, I have the reference. The one who asked me about uh, the body of Muhammad stink. Tahdeebu Tabaqat al Kubra. But there's many other books. I'm just showing you. I just search in Google right now. Uh, it says here that فَقَالَ الْعَبَّاسِ إِنَّ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ يَأْسَنُ كَمَا يَأْسَنُ الْبَشَرِ The Prophet of Allah, he stink as all a human being, they stink. It is highlighted. And he died, so bury your friend. This is one of the hadith. There's many, you know. And there's the one that says about his belly, his stomach. And you will see here the Muslim, the story, that companion of Muhammad, they were fighting about he die or not. They could not believe it. The guy, he told them that uh, our body uh, will not forbidden, we will not decay, blah, 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 blah. And then when he said, when Ibn Abbas, he said, come on, guys, this is the cousin of Muhammad. He stink. Don't make him die twice, which means don't humiliate him. All right. So, going back to the story, Islam is a collection of stories. You know, I mean, it's amazing. Uh, Let us try to find you something here. All right.
If we go to this verse in the Quran, this uh, Chapter 43, verse number 14. Then when we decreed death for him, who? Suleiman, Solomon. Nothing informed him, who? The genie, the shaitan, of his death except the little worm of the earth, oof, 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 which kept slowly Gnawing, I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly, but you know my English is perfect, so you cannot you cannot complain, can you? Gnawing away at his stick, like mm, 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 look at this wisdom. This is the Quran. I mean, who can beat this story? We have to be honest here. No, this is chapter <coughs> thirty-four, not forty-three, not forty-three, thirty-four. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, a prince of peace for answer for what Abdul I mean don't you see what we are talking about I'm not even looking at the screen did you get your answer this guy is thinking like did you get your answer <laughs> well this is what we are doing for the last hour Abdul you are too late it's look like the camel urine is all taken over you so Suleiman he dies standing and nobody in his kingdom, brother, nobody, notice that he is dead. Why? Because he was holding a stick. How many of you bought a stick? I'm sure not too many. I feel sorry for you. You just go, you know, this is Quran, chapter 34, verse number 14. That may will post the link for you. <laughs> if we go to the Quran interpretation, let us see what the interpretation says. You know, maybe, maybe here, the maybe this is a fabricated, this is Photoshop, like uh, what they do. The Muslim, they make Photoshop, you know. <laughs> As you see, this is your Muslim website. <laughs> I have nothing to do with it. So, if we go to the interpretation to the Quran, chapter 34, verse number 14. Hold on, let us go to the English one. Where is the English one? All right. Let us read together. <clears throat> this is the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. Uh, <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, let me introduce for you the knowledge. Allah tell us how Suleiman, peace be upon him, died and how Allah can see his death. You see, Allah don't want anyone to know. Look at this God, man. He don't, he concealed his death from the, from the jinn who were subjugated to him. So the guy, he died and Allah don't want the jinn, to, the shaitan to go crazy so they can go and do damage. I mean, look, call Allah. If you are Allah, can't you delay the death of the guy? I mean, which one is easier to make him die standing, staying there or making him live longer? I mean, why you made him die? So Allah, he concealed his death. The guy is dead. And the purpose, he don't want the shaitan to know that he's dead. And they are subjugated for him to do hard labor. It's like the boss, you know, like the boss. 
the, the employees they think he's still alive so they keep working so Allah he want them to keep working they are doing hard labor for him what they what hard labor they built for him synagogue and they build the statues statues Muslims again statues yes the Quran says so the Quran says that shaitan they built for Suleiman statues look 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 and look at the false translation they said here the worst word this is the word statues is gone if you change the translator you will see that, trans that the word statues appear hypocrite liars so going back to the topic here so he remained leaning on his stick This is remind me of someone he died i go to his house and he's standing holding a stick i came next month three months after i came again six months after nine months after 12 months after and i did not notice that he is dead that is a true story why because he died leaning on his stick It doesn't say that CP you are lying you are fabricating stories this is a let me show you this is a Nika theory what fabric this is your Muslim website look al -ilm. Al -ilm. the funny is called al -ilm, which mean uh, if this is what they meant by the English one al -ilm, uh, the knowledge look at the knowledge this is knowledge this potato is knowledge now so he died, he maintained, he remained leaning on his stick, which has, which was his staff. That makes sense now. I was wondering what a stick, maybe toothed stick, not doesn't make sense. He's so heavy. <laughs> this is Solomon, guys. The guy he eat a lot. He used to have sex with 199 women a, a night. He must be heavy duty, you know. I mean, 99 women. He decided, the Prophet of Allah, he said he wanted to sleep with his wives and uh, to do jihad. Some story it says David, uh, depend on what, what, uh, what the Muslims, they come with their mood. So he remained leaning on his stick, which was his staff as Ibn Abbas, may Allah blessed with him and Mujahid and Al-Hasan and Qutada and other said. He stayed like that for a long time, nearly a year. How long? Stop. He was dead on the stick for a year. If Solomon can do it, I can do it. I will keep my broadcast life and I will hold my stick. I will buy a camera, open it for you. And none of you will notice that I'm dead. Why? Because I am leaning on my staff. I mean, come on. This is obviously a true story. Muhammad don't lie. The Quran don't lie. Allah don't lie. What's wrong with you? Did you notice how much we made the Muslims going so angry lately? I mean... Sharing the truth made them angry, but you can do. I feel sorry for them. I love them, but they don't love me. I don't know why. So then, brother. So uh, this, this, he, st he stayed like that for a long time, nearly a year, like maybe eleven months and uh, thirty days, to be accurate, maybe, and two hours and fifteen minutes and seven seconds. Yeah, and then when the creature of the earth, a termite, which was kind of warm, ate through his stick. Look, took them a year. Look how slow those termites are. I mean, they are hungry, but they are slow. I mean, they are small, tiny termite. You know, like termite, termite. 
Like this is what they call in termite, like teranam 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 right, teranam 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 right, teranam 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 right. You know, because they don't eat left, they eat right. Termite, yeah, right. Something like that, you know. Perfect English, alhamdulillah. So, when they ate his stick, and the stick became weak and fall to the ground. Hmm? Can't Allah replace it? Can't Allah kill the termite? Can't Allah stop the termite? Can't Allah use the, like some spray, buy it from Home Depot to stop the, the, the termite from eating? You know, can't Allah treat the termite, the, the, the stick? I mean, there's many are you saying. And then, then it become apparent he had died a long time before. Now they noticed, like we are, a, I mean, the guy, he have hundreds of wives, supposedly. He have thousands of soldiers. He have ministers. People, they come into his uh, throne, ask him, talking to him. Nobody noticed the guy is not talking no more for a year. Nobody noticed. Nobody noticed that his eyes don't blink. Like blink, blink, blink. Nobody noticed. The wives did not notice too. This is true story. Hmm. Any Muslim here anything to say? By the way, all the previous video, we are going to take them down when I finished my broadcast. So if you did not download them yet, go download them. If you did not, if you don't want to download, search the title before we take them down. You will find them in the internet and you can save them to the, subscribe to those channels so you can watch them there. As, as you know, I don't keep channels here. I mean, keep videos because termite is eating my stick. <sighs> and this is what the Quran is saying that nothing made them know that he died except those termite who ate his stick and this is Quran <clears throat> any Muslim? And let us continue with the comment section, <coughs> going back to the topic. This video is taking long. I thought I'm going to, my videos are very short, but they can do. And then he says, <laughs> so was the present of, of the world without God? Well, this is stupid of you because we believe in the Trinity and we believe that God is a spirit, not like God is a concrete. Allahu Samad. Samad is coming from the Masmud, which is an empty, howling inside rock. Allah have no spirit and he is not a spirit, but he have a body. So the poetry present to me an idiot who do not know what Christianity teach. And then, and did the seven skies uh, became empty? And he became under the ground. <laughs> First, they put him in a tomb. There's no dirt. Do you know what tomb is? Idiot. Secondly, if you are a person who knew what the Christian believed for a second, you will know clearly that the Messiah, he come from the grave. Like we can go right now, which is the tomb. He came from the tomb out and he was perfect. Still, he have the marks of the crucifixion in his hands and in his chest. So nothing really affect him. And this is additional miracle showing that Jesus not only can raise people from death, as even the Quran say that he raised people from death, but he himself can be risen from death and he overcome death. Because nobody go to death and come back. Save Jesus. For he is God. 
And then he says here, And did the word and was the universe left without God to manage it while his hands were being nailed down? That's a very good question. And the question lead us to understand very well that the Muhammadan, they are double standard people. They are double standard people. If they believe that the death of Jesus will make, if he is God, will make the world without management. If this is what the, the logic is. Okay. So Jesus, before he come to the earth, and before his flesh was exist, because there is a point he was not born yet, and the Quran in chapter 4, verse 171 mentioned that, that he is the word sent down to Mary. So when, one, when he was the word, and he have no flesh, who was managing the word? The answer is in the Bible. In the beginning, it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word is the God. The Word itself is God. So, the Word is exist from the beginning, and the Messiah have no point of existence, for He is God. Everything created for Him and by Him. So, when the Muslim speaking with ignorance, because he do not know what the Christians believe, as we showed you, the Muslim do not, even the Quran do not know what is a trinity, what the Christian believe. Islam is a blindfolded, stupid cult. It's like somebody when I teach you about Buddha, but you do not know where he, who is he. This is Muhammad. And then he says, uh, and how could any wooden beam hold up a true God? This is a good question too. How good a chair made from wood carry Allah? <laughs> you see, isn't you Muslims you believe that Allah is carried, his throne is carried by eight goats? And those goats are angels. Each angel of them have different face, four faces. So if you are saying to us, how could any wooden beam hold up a true God? How could a wooden beam hold up Allah, who is carried by eight goat? Anyone? Uh, CP is a chicken, and you will do well. Uh, would you, you what you will do without a computer? So what do you mean without computer? Don't you are using computer too? Your God is a chicken. What Allah he can do and he have no computer. Here we go. Here we go. We are making fun of him. May Allah kill me. Do you remember al Khurmuti who went to the Kaaba and he started farting at Allah and say to him, Allah, what is your bird flying birds? Here we go. I destroyed the Kaaba. I killed 10,000 Muslims. And now I'm taking the black stone, I will make it a poopoo stone. Where are you and where is your bird? The question, my friend, you hate me having a computer because now I'm showing a reference in the screen. And that what make you upset. For you, it's way better if you just speak and show no reference, no proof. That will make it just a speech. But now people are learning People they witness, people they see reference, and people they see how they can defeat all the lies of the Muhammadan, including you. So when you say, how could any wooden beam hold a true God? That's mean Allah is not God. Isn't it Allah hold by a wooden beam? It's called the throne. And the throne of Allah is carried by eight goats. Any Muslim? This poetry, which is written to insult Jesus, is an insult to Allah. But their hate is driving them. Who is carrying Allah? How a wooden beam can carry and what kind of God this God is? I'm just using their logic.
This is your logic, not my logic. Let's read the hadith. And the Muslim, they will say to you, this is the Aif, you know, as usual, you know, the potato. Uh, he said, supposedly in the top of the seven uh, uh, heaven, there is a sea. <laughs> the distance between who uh, whose surface and the bomb of it is like the between the heaven and the next and above that there is there's eight mountain goats the distance between whose hooves and hunches is like the distance between the one heaven to the next and then allah the blessed the exalted above that above what about the eight, above the eight goats who's carrying what carrying the throne of allah the wooden chair what kind of God he can be carried by eight goats? I'm just using your logic and not my logic. See how stupid this insult is? This is an insult to Muhammad. This is an insult to Islam. Because everything you say here is against you. And then how could Aaron ever be brought to him that it would be driven inside him and cause him pain. Hmm. That's a very good question. How that could be. Yeah. Hmm. How, how you can answer that, this one? How Aaron can be going inside his body? That's deep. That's impossible. Hmm. You know, you remind me of the hadith where it says that Allah, he made the horses sweat and then he created himself from the sweat of the horses. Which means Allah created from urine. So what kind of Allah? He is a urine God created of urine. And then can we insert in the urine, which is the urine of the horses? A piece of iron or we cannot any Muslim and here he says and this is the here you see the insult here and how could ever this enemy hand ever reach him so they could whip him from his behind here the behind, by the way, talking about a bum, the ass. I don't know what to answer you here. You know, you, you really, you, you got us here. What if I make a poetry right now to insult Muhammad and to show you how to use good words when you speak about Jesus next time? Isn't it your prophet he was bitten by the Arab and they hit him in his ass? Muslims, do you want us to make Arab poetry? رسولكم طار على ظهر بغل فمن صدق الصعلوك غير البغال ورب ينسخ آياته ويأتي بخير منها أتلك هلوسة أم, أم, أم وسع في الخيال رسول قص لعرب الطائف خياله فضرب ضرب, فضر فضرب ضرب ذل منهم من بطاحه ومنهم من فج قفاه وقالوا له أما وجد الله أحدا يرسله غيرك أحمق معوج ناكح الأطفال فهرك هر إلى الحقول مرتعبا ودمه يخط خطوط ذل من أتى يختال وبقي خارج بيته خشية كشف أمره وضربهم وما فعلوا وقالوا وقال anyway, go and make the poetry for you have fun with it you're a prophet, they did beat his ass when he went to the people of the Taif. Where was Allah? And then your coward prophet, to hide what happened, he did not go back home. So people will not know what happened to him. Any Muslim want to say to me, this is a true, true story? 
Anyone? <laughs> and what the Arab they say to him, the people of Ta'if, they say to him, a God, he could not send someone except you? How, how bad Muhammad was? And they start beating him, beating him literally, and then on the throne of rocks, and then even the story says, and they encourage the, the stupid ones of them. This, this is the Muslim story. They encouraged them to attack him, which means Muhammad was humiliated. And then they made two lines. You see that the people of the city, they made a line. One line in the left, one line in the right. And Muhammad was walking between them and everybody is spitting at him and beating him. What kind of a prophet people they do that to him? And how come Allah will save Jesus from the Jews? And Allah do not save Muhammad from the humiliation of the Arab. Any Muslim want to say to me, it doesn't say that CP? Who want to say that to me? Huh? <laughs> Any Abdul? Why, why you claim to a person you respect Jesus? Why, why you say such a statement, they hit him in his behind? Here we go, we got you a story, your prophet was beaten and they hit him from his behind. Who is a Muslim want to challenge me to show the story? Who is a Muslim want to say I'm lying? Anyone? Nobody? Nobody. Let us see. Let us give you a link, actually. Uh, there is many. I mean, there, there, we can find that in books and in like a uh, uh, Ibn Ishaq, uh, uh, Musa, Ibn Aqaba, wa Ibn Ishaq, etc., etc., etc. You know, many people, they reported the story. And this is the official government of the, uh, uh, the Ministry of Islam in Egypt. You know, Muslim countries, they have Ministry of Islam to support Islam. Not like Christians, they have no government to support them, etc. The government in Egypt, they pay for every mosque, every sheikh, he get a salary from the government. Electricity for free, water for free. And building mosques for free unless some people want to donate to build mosques so they have a ministry of islam and there is a huge budget for it and this is the official government of uh, a website of the ministry of islam the mufti darul ifta fi safari nabi ila taif the prophet traveling to taif what happened in the taif let me see if I can shorten the link and give it to you. And then what you can do, just use Google uh, Translation. Let us see. <clears throat> I'm trying to find a shortened link, give me a second. <clears throat> By the way, be careful. There is some people they post links. There is like you know a, a porn. You know, be careful. Don't be silly. People they want to hack you. Don't give your email. Don't trust anyone here. Even if he claim to be Christian, even if he say supposedly they will come and they even they will say bad word about Muhammad. But yet still they are Muslims just to hack you. Be careful. And not everybody is good. Even if he claim to be Christian. So that's that's not about only Muslims or Christians. There is many. This is this is internet. Be careful. Don't give your email don't give your contact uh, don't give your phone number uh, uh, you know this is here we are here to learn 
if you add people to your phone like uh, through websites sorry like uh, apps you will be mostly you will be a victim of somebody be careful uh, <clears throat> let us see The reason I need to shorten it, not only because it's long, but because it has an Arabic text and Google will not allow it to go through. This is the link. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. I just opened the link for you. You can open it. And then what you can do, simply just to click in the page and use Google Translation and you will see the whole story translated. All right. Very simple, very easy. <clears throat> So if we go here, we will see how the people of at taif they did beat him, how they stand up, they made two lines and made Muhammad walk between them, and they humiliate him, spitting at him, beating him, etc. <clears throat> and they said to him, Oh Muhammad, get out of our town. Get out. And then here it says, and they encourage their the, the 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 bad one of them, the stupid one of them, the silly one of them, and their slaves to insult him, to scream at him, until the people they gather. And then it says here, and then they stood in two line, in his way. So when the prophet walked by, between the two line, two line of people, long line of people, all right. Uh, each time he left his legs up, and he put it down they hit him with rocks and uh, 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 and and they made his his legs bleed badly uh, it says here uh, and if if the if the if the rocks made him fail down they they grab they, they grab him you know they grab him from his legs from his ass from his bum from whatever and they make him stood up again and then again they start beating him with the rocks and they start laughing and then they said and uh, 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 and when said uh, Zayd ibn Haritha he tried to protect him uh, a rock he opened a, a hole in his head uh, it says here uh, and then the prophet he ran away from them and his uh, uh, and his uh, feet bleeding uh, so he went to uh, like uh, uh, to the field uh, like in you know uh, like a farm he hide all right uh, and he hide there uh, and he is sad and he is in pain blah 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 I mean the story is is long so this is what Muhammad this is what happened to him you are making fun that what they did to Jesus you see after all what they did to Jesus and Jesus, he knew what they would do. He told even his disciple who will deny him. Jesus is still, he said, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. So you made fun of Jesus making a poetry. We made fun of your prophet making our poetry. And your prophet is a joke already. So you are making fun of the peaceful Messiah because he is a peaceful God. But the Messiah, when he come in the judgment day, he will practice his power because time for forgiveness is over. So maybe you like that Messiah, don't you? You don't like the forgiving God. You like the aggressive one, the one who will send you to hell. As you see, this is the official government of Egypt. This is the picture of the Mufti of Egypt. Mufti is the highest authority of Egypt, the highest sheikh, who was approved by the government. This is a this is a government official job, actually, too. He is the one who signed your death, uh, uh, let us say, uh, certi a certificate before they execute you. 
If he did not sign it, government cannot execute a person. He have to approve it. This is how powerful he is. So here the story is speaking about how Muhammad been beaten by the Arab, humiliated. They shouted at him. They asked their servant and the bad ones of them and their fools, as they say here, as translation says, they shouted at him until the people gathered against him. Ibn, uh, 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 etc. He said, they stood in two rows for him in his on his way, and when the messenger of Allah, uh, uh, he he passed between the two raw, uh, he made they made him rise his legs. And they throw rocks. As I just said the translation is kind of funny. All right. So and they made him bleed and they humiliate him and etc. And they they did beat him. There's a different story. You know, this is one one form of the story. And, this, and not only that, Muhammad, he did not even go back to his town because he don't want people to see what happened. He tried to hide the story. He don't want people to see what happened to him. If we continue with this stupid poetry who's trying to insult Jesus, look what they say here. Did the Messiah revive himself or was another God that would brought him to life? <laughs> well, when Jesus said, you can destroy this temple and I will build it. That will refute you and it will get you busted. And then it says, uh, look, look how they try to insult. You know, how, how a grief can hold a, a God? And even a stranger, a more stranger, uh, is the womb who enclosed him before. Uh, and then he said here, he stayed there for nine months inside the darkness and there is uh, 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 ministration. Stupid idiot. If a woman, she is carrying a child. She does her administration, you donkey. Secondly, let us go to the Quran and see what the Quran say about Jesus, the one who is there for nine months in darkness, and he is in darkness, and around him there is administration, as the poetry says. Isn't the Quran say that Jesus is the Holy Son? What kind of God is with Jesus? What kind of God? What kind of a person he is inside the women? For nine months, he is born of her, you know, normally like every woman, from her private part. Yet the Quran says, Holy Son. You see the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan who hate Jesus? Let us see the verse. <clears throat> Quran nineteen nineteen. So Jesus was inside a woman for nine months, and the Quran saying that when the angels they came to Mary which is supposedly a spirit, not an angel, really. It doesn't say angel. But the Muslim, they say it was the angel. Okay? This is what they say. They translate the word ruhana, which is our spirit, as angel. He said, I am only a messenger from Allah to announce to thee the gift of a holy son. So how Muslims, they are making fun of Jesus, how he can be God, yet he is born of a woman, how he can be God and he inside the womb of a woman, how he can be God and he inside the tomb. All of this is to humiliate Jesus and to make Jesus is no one. Yet the Quran says Jesus is Holy Son before even he was born. And he is a gift from God. Right? 
Ahmad Al Sani saying Muhammad has 1.8 billion. I don't know about the numbers. You know, Muslim, yesterday you were 1.6. Two weeks after to 1.8, by the end of the year you will become two billions. Are we talking about rabbit or people? Secondly, you know, when the Muslim calculate the numbers, they calculate everybody in Iran is a Muslim. But is the Shia Muslim for you? No. Is the Shia in Yemen are Muslims? No. Is the Ahmadiyya are Muslims? No. Is the Druze are Muslims? No. Is the Sufi are Muslims? No. Is the Yazidi are Muslims? No. I mean, who is the Muslim? So here you will see the stupidity when the Muslim they say someone like this guy. Let us take a selfie for him. Muhammad, he have 1.8 billion, but not none of, of you dare to call me or refute me. And what about my real name? So if I give you my real name, that won't change anything? What, what do you mean? You want to, you, know, you, see, you see, guys, you see, they cannot answer how Jesus is the Holy Son. Okay, can you give us your name? <laughs> 1.8 billion. That is not good for you. And you are saying to me, I have 42,000 max. My idiot, idiot. This is one of my accounts. I have many accounts. This is the smallest one. I'm using it temporarily. 42,000. And look, I just will go online and right away I have 1,200 people listening. You're a prophet. He spent his life saying I'm a prophet. He got 70, including his wives and his slaves, which means he got nobody. They have nothing. They have nothing to say. We are losing our voice. And now, if I give you my name, are you going to answer? Is that will change anything? The hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. They count for you everybody as a Muslim when they want. Ask this guy: Is the Shia are Muslims? No, they are not. Okay. How many hundred millions they are? But he just said 1.8 billion. So he's counting the Shia. If they are 108 billion. Is the Druze Muslims? No. Is the Houthi Muslim? No. Mm -hmm. Is the Sufi Muslims? No. So who is the Muslim? Nobody. Where are they? And you know, those uh, people who they are showing you their, their face in a video, are you answering them too? Look, here we go. We have David Wood making fun of you day and night. You cannot even answer him. And he don't know much really about Islam. He's he learning what, what English says, translation. You don't speak Arabic. Even a person who don't speak Arabic, you cannot refute him. And he showed his face. So. When he asked your Fifi, Mimi, uh, Allah have but depart, they said to him, who said so? Who said so? When he said to them, the Quran will come as a man, who said so? When he said to them, the Muslims, they collect the spit of Muhammad and they wipe their face with it. He said, so, so I, okay, I'm God now. <laughs> and when your prophet, he says, Islam will shrink and became so small. Is he lying? Isn't it Muhammad? He says Islam is start as a strange small cult and will end as a small cult. Let us show you the hadith. And the funny, by the way, the Muslim, they post uh, in the internet, they post names of me, they post pictures, and you're asking me why you don't show your So those names you post and those pictures are false? What a liar then you are. Look what your prophet he said. Islam initi uh, 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 initiated as something strange and would revert to the old position of being strange. What well, translation is not good. Let us see this one. The Messenger of Allah said, Islam 
began as a small religion and will return to the state which it began. So are you saying that your prophet is lying? Are you? Where is the weight and head? So Muhammad is lying then. Muhammad, he have 1.8 billion followers. None of them can understand a verse of what Muhammad is saying in the Quran. That's amazing religion. And nobody can leave the religion. This is why we grow. Give it freedom and let us see who is a Muslim. Anyway, the freedom is coming. Just wait. The internet will destroy the rest. You see, already the crown prince, he opened Mecca and Al Medina to Christians and everybody to go and visit. Do you know that? All days is over. The, the sign where it says Muslim only to Mecca is useless. Go watch in YouTube how many people they went to Mecca and they are American and they are European and they are not Muslims. Mecca now became Las Vegas tour tourism. Go watch. Women in Saudi Arabia, their father or the father family, they have no control of them. They can even fly and they can leave the country. This is Saudi Arabia. The change is it's over, my friend. When you take those things out of the practice of Muslims in a country like Saudi Arabia, so where is Islam? Muslim women, she can drive a car now in Saudi Arabia. She can travel alone. Her father, he have no control of her. They took the authority from them. Christians can go to Mecca. There's a theater and dancing club in Saudi Arabia. What happened? Because the change is coming. And you cannot stop the change. You did live in the cave time for long enough, and now new generation, they don't want Islam no more. Otherwise, explain to me why you are desperate to have theater. Music. Isn't it your prophet he forbid the music? Which a Muslim, he don't have a music and he don't listen to music. Isn't it your prophet, he says, that time will come and my people will listen to music and Allah will make them pigs and monkeys? <laughs> Was your prophet telling the truth? Read carefully. Ahmad al sanai he will be, according to Muhammad, a monkey and a pig if he listen to music. Name for me one Islamic TV station in any Islamic countries. They don't play music and belly dancing and artists and movies. Just name one for me, starting from Saudi Arabia. People among my nation, Muhammad is making prophecy now. Look, prophecy. It's true prophecy. People among my nation will drink wine, calling it by another name. So what do you call it? Beer? <laughs> and a musical instrument will be played for them. And singing girls will sing for them. Allah will cause the earth to swallow them up and will turn them into monkeys and pigs. Who as a Muslim can tell me how Muhammad he says such a lie? All of you listen to music, not even a single of you, even Taliban. Huh? Is that true or I'm making things up? Any Muslim?
Even according to Google, number one country in the world who search for sex with animals is Pakistan. Did you count? Did you count Pakistan with the 1.8 billion? This is not my news. This is from Google. Top, top country in top search sex for sex sex any a camel sex rape video child sex videos which country pakistan so when your prophet he says my people when they do those things music music we're not talking about sex and porn now music Allah will make them pigs and monkeys. What happened? Where is Allah uh, making people pigs and monkeys? They cannot answer us and they start to be silly. Uh, tell me your name. Go and get my name. So what you care? You know my name. You don't know who my name is. Even, even better, if, if you know my name, I will start writing my books with my real name. So? Now there's many people, they appreciate me, but they don't know who I am. But if I put my real name there, they will know who I am and that's wonderful. But because they are bankrupt, is he going to go to Sam Shamoon and say to him, show us, give us your name? No, but he would, he would say something else to Sam Shamoon. Why you don't have hair? <laughs> Hey, Sam Jamun, what is your hair, man? We have 1.8 billion Muslims, they have hair. How come you don't have hair? They will find anything, but they can't answer you. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, uh, I hope you guys, you like this timing. I think it was a good time to go early in the morning. We will try to do that from time to time so we can reach out to people from different countries. And again, I am going to delete all the videos which was previously posted. As you know, I don't keep my videos. So I hope you guys, you did download them already. If you did not save them already, please go and search the same titles. The same titles, you will find the videos in different channels. And when you find people who they are posting my, my videos, subscribe to them because obviously they are the one who download my videos and they are the one who you can find later the video which i deleted all right uh like you know uh, many people they ask me why you don't keep them uh, that's better you know that's better so they will be all over the internet and uh, people translate and we encourage people to do uh, whatever they can do like i don't know how many of you watch uh, 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 bruce lee was a muslim prophet it was a hilarious video but not many of you watch it i don't know uh, sometimes the name i don't know the name make people watch video you know for some reason i don't know or sometimes picture i'm not sure why when all of them they are really so good right so anyway i'm going to delete those videos in case you did not find them later, uh, search in the internet and uh, subscribe to those who they upload my videos and feel free to download any video I make. They are for free for you to use. And please, if you speak different languages, and I know that the video is long, so uh, uh, adding subtitle to a long video is extremely hard. It's not easy. So what you can do, you can choose from the video, the long video, a short topic I mentioned, like you can cut the video pieces. 
and you can give that the, the, the video you are making a new title depend on the topic you choose from the video because in the video we chose about we spoke about many things and then you can add subtitle for like a video which is 10 minutes long not an hour or two or three that will make it a lot easier for you and will make your job easy and will make it easy for people to share and uh, to watch all right Yeah, Saudi Arabia, they have a national anthem. You are right. All Muslim countries, they have national anthem. And they play music when they play it. Not only that, pictures is haram. But the, 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 the picture of the king is in everywhere, in every place in Saudi Arabia. The picture of the, uh, the president of Pakistan. <laughs> but pictures are haram. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, the word king, the word kings, how many Muslim kings they have? Isn't it the kings are the enemy of Allah? Right? Look at this guy. Look, hold on, hold on. Let me show you this guy. This guy is, is he have a, he's suffering from diarrhea. His name is a free Palestine. He is saying free, free, uh, coward, coward, coward. Look, Abdul, listen, listen. The coward is your God who never mentioned the word Palestine in the Quran, neither your prophet. And not only that, your God Allah is a Zionist and your prophet is the puppy of the Jews. And we can prove it in a second. Allah, he said to the Jews, O oh, people, enter the Holy Land which Allah has assigned into you. Do you see it? So if you are calling free Palestine, free Palestine, well, Palestine is not your land. Even you Muslims agree that you enter in the year 600 after the death of Muhammad, after 600, the end of 700, when, when Umar al Khattab came. This is not your land. Even you Muslims agree that at that time there is not a single Arab person who live in that land. So how this has became your land? And the Quran confirmed by the Zionist Allah, who is the slave of the Jews, who is a potato of the rabbi. He said to the rabbi, oh rabbi, this is the land I gave to you, take it. Go and kill the Palestinian. The rabbi, they said, oh Moshe, we will not go and enter it. There is people who live there. Let them leave first. Then Allah, he get upset from them. Only two Mujahideen from the Jews want to kill the Palestinians. This is the Quran saying that in front of your eyes. Chapter 5, verse number 21, 22, 23, 24. So two Jews only, they said to Musa, let us attack the Palestinians and kill them. And Allah, he praised them. He called them fearing men, those who want to kill the Palestinians. Allah bestowed his grace on them. He said, let us assault them in the, in the proper gate. And Allah will give us victory. But the Jews refuse. And then look what happened. They said, Oh Moses, you know, we are not going to go there until you and your God go and fight. Which means who? Moses and Allah. Go and fight and kill the Palestinian. And then Moses, he told Allah. And Allah got upset from the Jews because they refused to kill the Palestinian. So Allah, he forbid the Jews from entering the Holy Land for 40 years. Do you see it? The one who is going crazy with diarrhea? Allah, he says, Viva Israel. The land is for the Jews. Who is saying that? Allah. In other words, Allah is a Yahudi. Muhammad is a Yahudi. Muhammad simply, he was trying to make the Jews happy. He lived between them. He is a hypocrite man. He was trying to say, okay, I'm going to say whatever they like to hear. Right? Read Surah 17, verse 104, 7104. <coughs> I don't know why you want 17. What does this have to do? But anyway, you know, I feel sorry for those people. And look how angry they get. Coward, coward, coward. Okay, call me and show me who. Let us see who's a coward. They try to smear you. They try to call your names. They can fabricate story about you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is here. It says like uh, this is the land we give to Israel too. 
But, you know, the, the, the chapter 5, verse 21 says it clearly. This is the holy land we assign to you. And actually here, Muhammad is copying a prophecy from the Old Testament that the Jews, they will be gathered together again in Jerusalem. He's copying the Old Testament. Like they will be gathered the same as a chick are gathered by their mother. Uh, help me, dude. How I can help you, Daniel? What do you want? Tell me what do you want before I go, my friend. Time is up for me. <clears throat> Palestine is Jordan. That's not true. Palestine is not Jordan. There's nothing that's called Palestine. Palestine, you see the word Palestine, it's coming, you know, I mean, there is people who used to live there long before, and they have nothing to do with those who live there. This is number one. Number two, the Muslims, they speak, uh, answer my question. What is your question? Give me your question. Stop saying answer my question. Give me your question. Daniel, give me your question. I'm watching the chat now just for you. Daniel, give me the question. So, when we say the, uh, uh, the, the uh, Palestine, we are talking about territory where people use, ancient people used to live there. What those people have there have to do with it? I don't use Skype no more, Soko. Where is Daniel a question, guys? This guy, he want to ask me a question. <clears throat> Anyone saw his question? <coughs> Could you please help me with that uh, treatise? Muslim broke. Why was 929 revealed like what it was the background? There's no background. Muhammad, the, the verse of, itself is so clear. It's this actually this chapter, chapter of at -Tawbah, it's not called a Tawbah, it's called Bara'a. They changed the name. What Bara'a? Declaration. Washing hands from the treaty. All right? Uh, Muhammad, when he is weak, Muhammad, he will find any excuse. If you speak against... So now look, Christian prince speaking against Islam. But Christian prince, he live in America. So Muslim, they will not... You know, I mean, okay, he live in America, so we will try to fight him by. I'm talking about Muslims who they are true believers, not normal Muslims, the Mujahideen, you know, ISIS. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, if he live in the Middle East, we will kill him right away. And this is how Muhammad is. When he is weak, he make a treaty. When the treaty is not for his benefit, he break it. So if you go in the in the uh, in the Quran, you will find the following verse. <clears throat> and this website is really stupid. Muslims are not allowed to stay in peace with the Kuffar unless they are not the upper hand. Let's see. I'm trying to open a different website. This website is froze. Let us try again.
Yeah, finally. Chapter 4, 47, the chapter of Muhammad. Verse number 35, it says, Be not weary and faint hatred, hurted, crying for peace when you should be the uppermost. So what you learn from this? You make a treaty. If you are weak, like now Egypt signed treaty with, uh, with, so with, uh, with uh, Israel. Same as Emirat, same as Jordan. But all of them, they say Israel is occupation. All of them, they say that, uh, you know, they should uh, blah, 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 blah. So why you sign a treaty? Because Israel is a superpower. And based on the Quran, they can sign a treaty like Muhammad until they have the power and then they will wash their hands from the treaty. Do you understand? Because Muslims, they cannot sign a treaty of peace if they are the uppermost. If they are not the uppermost, then they can. Until they become the uppermost and then they will come after you. Did I answer you? Uh, my friend, uh, the one who's saying uh, reign the king of sweet, uh, sweet uh, CP make a video about Luke 16 16 directly show that Saint John is the last prophet not Muhammad we don't need to to show you know you want to want to want to show somebody uh, something he's a Muslim you don't show him from your book that is a wrong way to prove a point that is evident for us who believe in the book but when you speak to somebody he don't believe in the book and then why you are using it I for me I will use their book to show them that Muhammad can't be a prophet. And then what the Muslim can do. This is why actually the Muslims are angry from me because I show them from their book that their prophet cannot be a prophet. If I show them from my book, they will say we don't believe it anyway. So we are wasting your time. They will laugh at us. Right? Like when the Muslim, they try to prove to us that Muhammad is in the Bible, then we can use the Bible to show them that this is a lie. You know what I mean? If this is their proof, then we go to the Bible, we can use it because they are using that to prove something which does not exist. But to prove to them that Muhammad is a false prophet, you show them a prophecy. We just showed you as an example, Muhammad, he said that when my people, they start uh, singing and listening to music and uh, uh, having dance singers, Allah will make them pigs and monkeys and he will make the earth swallow them. Okay. If Muhammad is a prophet and he prophesied that this is will happen and this is what will be done when they do that, will all the Muslims listen to music? All the Muslims watch dancing girls. So how come the prophecy never happened? How we knew a false prophet in the Bible, according to the Bible? Two things. If you prophesy in the name of a false god, or if you prophesy and the prophecy never come to be true. That is a false prophet. Right? Uh, the, the Muslim, they say, Red Rose saying, okay, let us answer a few questions before we go. So Red Rose is saying, let us take a, a screenshot. You should see, guys, when my, my computer screen is full of screenshots. Unbelievable. <coughs> let us see this uh, question here. And maybe this will be the last one. The Muslim, they say, uh, stubbornly claim that Allah SWT, which means like short wave, uh, triangle together, and this is the same with Hashem or Yahweh or the God uh, uh, worshipped by Abraham and Moses. Well, the answer for that is very easy. You see, first of all, here you need know, to ask yourself why somebody he is proud about his God, he tried to make his God our God. I mean, don't you notice that he is seeking honor? Imagine I say to you, I am trying to convince the Muslims 
that Allah is our God. That will be funny because I am against Allah supposedly. And Allah is a bad God for me, is a false God. So the second they try to convince you that their God is the same as Yahweh, that's mean Yahweh is approved. And Allah is still suspicious because we don't approve him. Secondly, if you go from the book of Genesis, verse number one, verse number two, what it says there? It says that God created the earth, and the, like uh, how he created the earth and the heaven, and his spirit was above the water. Okay, my God has a spirit. Our God is a spirit. Is the God of Islam has a spirit? No. So if we have the same God, then we should have the same nature of God. Our God is a spirit, their God is not. So we cannot have the same God. My God have a son. Their God, they don't have a son. So their God cannot be my God. Right? My God, he come in the flesh. Their God is in the flesh, but he never come in the flesh, down to the earth, in the flesh. So we have tons of things. Our God have ethic. Their God don't have ethic. Our God is not a changeable. Their God is a changeable. Allah, he says, he changed his shape. Muhammad told them that Allah, he changed his shape. Changing the shape is not like God coming in the form of a man. No. He himself, the same shape, is a changeable. What is that? So, when we speak about God, then tell me what is your God, and then we will see if he is the same. Your God is not a spirit. Your God doesn't have a son. Your God, uh, uh, you know, he's he have you know he's not alive. Your God is dead. You have no spirit. Spirit means life. So the answer always is from the Bible. When the Muslims say to you, "Our God and your God is one," right away you should say to them, "Well, is your God Allah is a spirit?" They will say no. They say the Old Testament and the New Testament both they agree that God is a spirit. And as long your God do not have a spirit, the the party is over. And I not to need to mention many tons of things about this God, who is a funny God. I mean, this God do not know even how the earth is created. When which one he created first, the trees or the stars? Which one? <clears throat> Uh, Captain, okay, because you asked this question a while ago, right? And I told you not to ask now. Just because you asked the question a while ago, I will go to the verse you are asking for. Uh, 60, uh, 699. <clears throat> and that's it. This will be the last question. Because I'm having a headache already. Okay. It is he who sent down from the sky water. And from the water, we made the following, etc., etc., etc. Okay. So, what do you want to explain? I don't know what you mean. What do you want to explain? For the question. When we will do a study in many, uh, we will say, I don't know, many, we keep many, you see, we are answering the, the topic. Who is he and we? The Muslim, they say to you that Allah, he speak about uh, himself as a third person. Yeah. That's it. But if you want to see about Allah sending down rain, then you want to see a God who do not know how and where hail is coming from. If you remember the Quran speak, that Allah he sent hail from mountains in heaven. Now, 
how this God, he is the one who he called, the Muslim, they call him the creator. And yet he think that heal is coming from mountains uh, in heaven. And he send his, uh, uh, and he, he break this heal and send it down to us. To us. What kind of God he say that? Look at here, the Muslim translation says, and he sent down from the sky hail between two brackets like mountains, where it says like mountains, and where is the one? You see the first translation? And then he says that, that a translator, he tried to fix it supposedly, or there are in heaven mountains of hail. Look, well, this is what the verse is saying. Why you say or? Because simply, if we don't say or, people will laugh at us. We knew that we are lying. And if we say it is, then people will laugh at us anyway, because what kind of God he says such a thing that there is hail of mountains and mountains of hills in heaven and Allah break hail from them from them and he sent it down. He sent down from heaven mountains where in is hail. Do you see? This is God talking. Where is the 1.8 billion? Huh? Allah he sent hail from mountains in heaven and you know maybe I am uh, you know an ignorant let us see the interpretation maybe it doesn't mean that maybe the Christian prince is Arabic is bad you know as the Muslim they say chapter 24 verse number 43 hmm. Christian Prince is not telling the truth, you know, he's lying, brother. Yeah, he's lying. Okay. And he sent down from the heaven out of the mountains. <laughs> Do you see it? <laughs> and this is Tafsir Jalalain. What we shall do? God, he do not know where hail is coming from, claiming that there's hail, mountains of hail, and Allah, he break it, and he send it to us, and he hit with it the one he don't like. According to the Quran, hail is a penalty. Allah, he break from mountains in heaven, and he hit us with, this, with it. This is the knowledge of Allah. Can you deny it? You cannot. The Muslim will go after you. You cannot, you know. The second, can a Muslim who live in Pakistan say this is stupid? Imagine what will happen to him in two seconds. Sam Shamur is in the chat. He's welcome, my friend. So good to have him. I don't know. My chat is not running. I don't see. Where is Sam Shamur? I don't see even his name. Uh, Prince of Peace. Get out of here. Obviously, you are a bully. Look at that. Look at what they say. Sam Shamur and block me from your channel i will do thumble for you i will cut your video into pieces what is that don't be a bully don't force me to block you last offer any muslim want to say something <clears throat> Yeah, you see, we, we talk about Sam Shamoon here, right? So, Allah have knowledge about the creation as much Sam Shamoon he have hair in his head. What do you want more? This is how much Allah knowledge he have. A lot of knowledge. Yeah. And as long as Sam Shamoon is here, so. But I don't see him. I don't know. Where is Sam Shamoon? I don't see his text. For some reason, I can't see his text. <clears throat> the picture in the beginning well this is what Islam is about beating women the Muslim they say they complain Christianity is bad when the when the Jews they brought a woman to be stoned what Jesus said to her what Jesus said to them 
So when the Muslims, they complain and they say the God of the Old Testament have no mercy, and yet they forget that the God of the Old Testament, Muslim, they steal his orders and they abuse it. And the Messiah is the one who can correct the abusers. They are hypocrites, stoning people for adultery when all of them, they are adulterers. Surat 35, verse number 37. I should accept Islam. Oh, okay, let's try it, guys. A chapter a chapter uh, th uh, 50, uh, 50, 35, 37 will make me accept Islam. Let us try it. Shall we? Okay, I will go there just to make you happy. Let's see how fast I will accept Islam. I'm, I feel like saying Shahada right away before even I open it. Hmm. If I see it, I will accept Islam right away. Yeah. Hmm. So what is the what is the verse saying? Hey Allah, take us away from here. Well, you idiot. Isn't it the Quran says that each one of you Muslims will go to hell? And the Quran says that the Christians are going to go to heaven. So you are the one who should be worried, not us. Not a single of you, one of you, but he will enter hell. So hell is for you according to the Quran, not for us. The Quran say clearly that those who they are Jews and those who they are Christians, they have no worry and they will enter heaven. However, who care what Muhammad say? Look at the false translation. Not one of you, but he shall approach it. Approach what, you, you liar? Let us go to the interpretation and see. Chapter 19, verse number 71. Are you ready? Read and love. It is you Muslims who will approach, who will enter heaven, and then Allah will insert in your anus, according to the Quran, a long chain. Hmm. Read it. Not one of you, but shall come to that, but shall enter hell. Do you see it? Mr. Harris Said? This is your religion. And now what you will say to me, you will say to me, it doesn't say that? Say it, say it, say your line. This is your website. It says all of you, Prince of Peace. Okay, I misunderstood him. I apologize then. I thought he is making fun of Sam. So it's in front of you, and this is your Islamic interpretation for the verse, not me, saying every single Muslim will enter hell. Do you see it? Yeah, actually, we did too many videos in the last, you know, I mean, you see, I get tempted. I see the comment and then I cannot resist. I say to myself, I will take a break tomorrow because it's really too much headache, you know, too much uh, screaming and answering and getting angry from people and stupidity. You know, stupidity is amazing. It's amazing. But I got, I got, uh, uh, I get, uh, let us say, encouraged, tempted to come and show them their size. So I will keep this video for a few hours. Please download it, maybe enter tomorrow. Please download it, share it in your, you know. And again, I might go for a few days, but I'm not sure if I will go today, tomorrow. I'm not sure. I have somebody inviting me to go to, uh, you know, to stay in a warmer area until the cold uh, get better. Uh, but if not, then maybe I will come back tomorrow. All right. So if I did not come a day or two, but mostly I will come back, you know, you know me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Because it's Tuesday, so maybe it's better not to drive in Tuesday. The, the road is bad now. Sorry for bothering you. It's not a chapter uh, 35, 37. What? It was just quick joke. I misquoted Sora. Uh, okay, no problem. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I want to say thank you guys for being here. And notice with me how they get so angry and they will call us names and they, they, 
You remember one thing. The Bible says why they hate us. But we should not hate them. Jesus said they will hate you. He told you that. Even Jesus, he said, time will, will come and people will think by killing you they are doing favor to God. Which God? Doesn't matter. They think they are the good ones and we are the bad ones. Still, we will not hate them. Show the verse about the Quran saying the Christians and the Jews will go to heaven. No problem. <clears throat> and we don't care what the Quran is saying you know we are here just refuting them from their books otherwise we are not waiting for such a fabricated book to tell us where we will go but here you see the contradiction and the stupidity Muhammad when he was weak he was trying to get the Christians to believe in him so he said to them hey Christian you go to heaven don't worry oh Jews you go to heaven not only Christian and Jews even the Sabians who they are stars worshippers the Sabians are from the land of our brother Sam Shamu. And they are stars worshippers. They believe in creators. So how Muhammad, he say, that not only the Christians, not only the Jews, even the Sabians will go to heaven. <clears throat> Muslim Empire wanna call me? Oh, he heard me uh, leaving, so he said, I'm going to call him, right? Okay, hold, hold. you know what? I changed my mind. I'm not leaving. <coughs> I will open my pal talk. Just because he said he will call me. Because I know he's saying he want to call me because he heard me saying I am, like, my voice is gone and I, I'm going to go. So now he want to call me. And now I am in pal talk. Is he going to call me? Let us see. <coughs> Text me, uh, Empire. I just decided not to go until tomorrow. Are you there, Empire? I am in Palto. <coughs> Where are you? So you know I am in Palto. Empire, where are you? This is what they used to do to me when I go online in the in, 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 I used to have a chat room. I stay for eight hours, ten hours, and then when they feel that I am tired, I need to go, and I say, okay, guys, I'm leaving. Suddenly, somebody he says, I challenge you. Once you believe it or not, they challenged me to debate me. They said to me, we will challenge you and we will set a date with the sheikh. And they were, you know, they were supposed to be recording, you know, because they were expecting me to say no. Why? Because they said to me in December 25th. So there's no way this guy here will say yes. December 25th. I said, sure. <laughs> sure. December 25th came and the sheikh was so shaky never show up so they wanted to record me saying oh it's december 25th they would say oh he ran away the sheikh he challenged him he ran away the coward here we go our sheikh he said to him by his voice i challenge you and here we go empire go in you know i want to call you and we are live we are waiting and he is not there we have, uh, you know, I, many times I said, guys, a Christian, please don't text me. But there is somebody here is a Christian saying, I don't want to talk about Islam. I'm not a Muslim. I want to know uh, uh, if you uh, talk about philosophy. You see, I'm an Arab and my philosophy is different from other people's philosophy. As an example, first time an Arab, he went to philosophy school. Uh, he, said the, he said to the teacher, what is logic? The teacher, he said to him, uh, logic is to know something through something else. The student, he said, like what? The teacher, he said, okay, I will ask you a question. And from that question answer, I will, I will, I will get more information about you. The Arab student, which is supposedly someone like me, said, sure. Okay, go ahead. 
So the teacher, he said to him, do you have a chain in your home? The guy, he said, yes, I have a chain. The teacher, he said, as long as you have a chain, that's mean you have a dog. Huh? Yeah, I have a dog. How you know? And then he said, as long as you have a chain and you have a dog, that's mean you have a garden. The guy said, yes, I have a garden. He said, as long as you have a chain and a dog and a garden, that's mean you have a nice house. He said, yes, we have a nice house. He said, as long as you have a chain and you have a gar you know, uh, you have a dog and you have a garden and you have a big house, that's mean your mother, she is taking care of it. He said, that's true. He said, okay, as long as you have a chain and you have a dog and you have a garden and you have a big house and your mother is taking care of this big house, that's mean we understood that your mother was, is a wonderful woman and she is uh, like uh, a decent woman. The student was like, wow, this is logic, philosophy. So he learned now logic in the Arabian style. So he went in the street. He asked the first person he saw him in the street. He said to him, do you have a chain? The guy, he said, no. So he said to him, your mother is a whore. Because this is what he learned from the logic. The one who have a chain, his mother is decent. The one who don't have a chain, his mother is a whore. So when you talk about philosophy, philosophy, my friend, is a game is again depend in the stupidity of the person you play dumb you play smart you play you don't understand you play slow you know philosophy is a game it's not really it's not there's not nothing is called philosophy it is just a, a, a play you know let us play let us see how who which one of us he can play the other one more like taking you in a circle you know what i mean so what uh, anyway before I forgot actually in the coming video I will, I will but as long he is here his name is Omit Omit he sent me an email from a while ago are you there Omit are you there my friend so he sent me an email and he said uh, uh, he told me he is uh, from Turkey and he left Islam and he is so happy uh, uh, you know he learned a lot from me etc and I did not mention it you know I don't talk about people who you know text me in private they told me I left Islam but then I get surprised that he want me to mention his name he want me to mention that he left Islam and he said I want you to talk about it so uh, maybe in the coming video I will show you uh, uh, maybe the first email he sent to me in Patreon it's not like an email it's a message you know uh, and uh, again, I don't tell people what, you know, when, if you are a person who leave Islam, as you know, uh, Omid is one of them, who told me a while ago, you know, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago or a week ago, or 10 days ago, that he left Islam. I said, okay, I'm so glad for you, etc. He said, I watched your videos. Uh, I learned a lot from you. Uh, this side. But I don't come online and say, hey, there's a person who just left Islam and he told me. I don't do that. I do only mention if someone he spoke to me and he says to me approve it you know he said okay you know please tell or he called me live on air yeah so uh, i'm so happy for him and maybe next next time i just i just remember him by the way because i saw his text because he asked me many times but i'm so happy for you my friend and we pray that the lord will uh, will guide you and take you from your hand you and your family right right yeah, so going back to philosophy, don't don't be a, a philosophy worshiper. It's just a, just a game. You see, like when uh, when when people they speak about ethic, ethic is very flexible. When they want uh, ethic is, uh, is something. When they want is something else. The only place where ethic is not flexible is God ethic. It's not flexible. That's it. This is or this. There's no so so. Human being, he always justify things and he adds, you know, spice. He, 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 you know, let us say he make his own philosophy to cover his own, you know, let us say poo poo. Right? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Anyway, I think it's time for us to go, and I see no Muslims whatsoever texting me in, Pal in Paltok, zero. So this guy, he was a kid. Actually, as long as he played this game, next time the admin should block him. I don't want to see him anymore here.
go online to talk to him and then he don't show up anyway so I want to say thank you guys may the Lord bless you uh, please download the video before we take it down and uh, we will do program in different timings so more of you they can join remember this is not my main channel this is a small channel of mine I have many and don't be addicted to one channel which means wherever I go you will be notified when I will going to be so it's not important the channel reading even if I like I open a channel have only one subscriber who care people will come uh, this is why a while ago I deleted my Facebook my Twitter I don't want them you know because they are useless before we don't wanted people to know uh, about what we do etc now all of Indonesia knew about me all of it my videos in the Indonesian channels or Spanish channels or uh, Albanian channels or Russian channels or I mean you, you, you name it so before we need the social media social media is a beast I don't like them I don't like even YouTube actually I'm not really a favor of it but it's a way to reach out for people and to share the truth and the truth will set you free All right So uh, taking your uh, uh, as long I mentioned before I don't know how many of you is in my Patreon uh, we mentioned before that I deleted my account in uh, Facebook and in Twitter and you know like uh, even Instagram I will delete maybe today I, I forgot to delete because we can't post those cowards they don't let you post I mean have you ever heard of Instagram you cannot even say I am live on air just, just just saying I am live on air come join us they will not let you post it do you see how much they are scared <coughs> we should do do pal talk discussion here we go we are in pal talk you see the difference between pal talk chat room and here that's in chat room you cannot talk to people in the same time so here calling is better because we can talk in the same time like a phone we are in pal talk anyway thank you guys for being here again please don't forget to download this video and share it with your friends and you can cut it pieces and make it small so we can share it easier and add subtitle to your language if you care and i really i appreciate people who support us and uh, the lord is good uh, for he brought the good people to us and always remember they will hate you in my name they will go after you because of my name they will torture you because of my name they will try to humiliate you to bully you you have to be strong and the more strong you are the more they go crazy the more weak they are, you are the more they calm down so when you see them going crazy it's mean you are doing great the second you see the one who follow Muhammad saying God bless you Christian Prince it's me Christian Prince became corrupt if you see ever any Islamic person who claim to be a person who have knowledge of Islam saying to a Christian person that I approve what you say there is something wrong with this Christian because a Christianity in Islam they have nothing to share nothing even the names they have there in their book like Jesus is not there this is Isa we do not know who is Isa even Maryam they have in their book it's Maryam the sister of Aaron we do not know who is Maryam the sister of Aaron even Abraham he is a son of Azar we do not know who is Azar Abraham he have no father his name is Azar Mary she have a father his name is Amran who is Amran since when Mary she have a father his name is Amran so nothing in the book have to do with us and many they try to deceive you and says to you we share things with Muslims we share none and be aware of false teachers even if those who claim to be Christian they say to you we and Muslims worship the same God we don't our God is a spirit their God is not our God has a son their God has he don't so don't let them fool you be aware of ignorant teachers who say to you that the Arab are from Ishmael we are not from Ishmael Ishmael is a person he is a son of an Aramaic his mother is Egyptian and he married Egyptian and this is exist in the Old Testament don't let the ignorant one even those who claim to be Christians and maybe they are good Christians but they are ignorant don't make them deceive you 
Study, my friend, and learn. Power is knowledge. Ignorance is, is disease. People die by diseases and less. Why? Because we don't know the disease. We don't know how to stop it. Ignorance. Ignorance means death. Mean death in heaven. I mean, in, uh, sorry, to, uh, be, before you go to heaven. And mean death in earth by diseases and illness. Ignorance. All our pain in this earth because of ignorance. If we know, there's many things we don't do. How to debate Prince, the link. Just download PalTalk. Make a username and you can text me and I will call you. All right. God bless you again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false and see you soon again. Take care.